TikTok is a weird place. On one hand, it empowers regular people to gain popularity and to exhibit their talents to the whole world. On the other hand, it doesn't give users the opportunity to show their actual personalities and who they really are, because video contents in the platform are limited to about 15 seconds or so. Therefore, TikTokers are sometimes judged too quickly and unfairly before we even know what they're like in real life. So today, we are going to take a look at some TikTokers that aren't what you thought. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. Number one, Charlie D'Amelio. You'd think that reigning undisputed queen of TikTok would be oozing with confidence after everything she has achieved on the platform, but that's simply not the case. She might appear to be the epitome of high self-esteem when you watch her badass choreography videos, but in reality, Charlie D'Amelio is actually extremely shy. In fact, it took her years to come out of her shell to join the TikTok community. Her sister Dixie and their friends spent years trying to get her content online before she actually posted her very first TikTok video, and fame did nothing to cure her shyness either. As a matter of fact, the attention she got from haters and critics might have worsened her situation. In an interview, Charlie said she's been struggling with body image and body dysmorphia issues, not to mention unhealthy eating habits, because of all the negative things people have been saying online about her body. So Charlie might be the most popular girl on TikTok right now, but most days, she feels like the fame is more of a burden than a blessing. Number 2. Addison Rae. This girl seems like the most cheerful TikTok influencer influencer we've ever met. She's always brimming with positivity and always wears this huge bright smile in every video she uploads. During a collab video she did with James Charles, Addison even said she loves looking up her name on Twitter and Google just so she could read all the positive stuff people are saying about her. What a brave optimist TikTok star, right? Well, not exactly. As recent events revealed, Addison actually had some insecure and resentful tendencies, regardless of how perfect she may seem online. For one, her huge reaction to Nate Hill's diss track revealed that she doesn't feel 100% confident about her looks. She said the diss track really hurt her and urged other influencers to be careful about the stuff they say about other content creators online. Another thing, it recently came into light that Addison used to like hateful comments about Charlie D'Amelio. This was before Addison herself became a huge star on TikTok. Some of these comments questioned why there was a lot more hype surrounding Charlie when Addison was clearly more beautiful and more talented. Liking these comments revealed that Addison felt an inkling of resentment when Charlie started to pull ahead of her in the fame game. Number 3. Lauren Gray Watching Lauren Gray show off her amazing room, amazing house, and amazing life, it's really hard not to feel jealous. How can someone so young live such a perfect life? And to top it all off, Lauren seems to have a great personality too. Remember when she said it doesn't bother her that Charlie D'Amelio actually unseated her as a queen of TikTok? Lauren literally said she doesn't mind sharing the spotlight with new content creators. Her life is just so polished, one might think Lauren never experienced any hardships growing up. Well, if you haven't heard this harrowing story yet, you're in for an unpleasant surprise. A while back, Lauren revealed that she experienced something traumatic when she was just 12 years old. Apparently, she was taken advantage of in the basement of someone she trusted, and at such a young age, watching her picture-perfect videos, you could never guess she went through such a terrible experience in her youth. But honestly, knowing this will just make you appreciate her more. If she can be a good person after everything she's gone through, I mean, what's your excuse, right? Number 4. James Charles The makeup mogul is simply one of the biggest, most successful influencers of his generation. Outspoken, flamboyant, and loud, you'd expect this queen to be confident about who he is as a person. But in the heart-to-heart -heart talk he had with Addison Rae during their collab video, James admitted that he is actually not that confident, and that he sometimes feels so vulnerable when he reads negative stuff being said about him online. Can you imagine some someone like James Charles actually getting bothered by what strangers say about him online? People are truly not what we think they'd be when the cameras aren't rolling. This goes to show that people really need to be kind with what they say online, because people who we think are impervious to criticism are just as vulnerable as we are. Number 5. Paige Neiman If you see Paige Neiman and watch her videos on TikTok, your first impression would be that she's Ariana Grande's biggest fan. Paige gained fame by posting impressions of Ariana, which are super on point. But apparently, the pop star is not a fan. In an Instagram post, Ariana said creators who wear high ponytails and put on winged eyeliner think they're doing art by impersonating her. But she said they are just cheapening her artistry. To this, Paige simply
simply replied that she's now so used to being bashed by Ariana, it doesn't really bother her anymore. Paige also said she used to be a fan of Ariana, but she has since been turned off by the musician because of her attitude towards fans who love impersonating her. So Paige might still come out with the cover of Ariana every now and then, but make no mistake, she isn't a fan of the position singer. Number 6. Danielle Cohn Danielle has been one of the most controversial content creators on TikTok, primarily because her branding is more risque, to the point that some fans are saying she should try making an OnlyFans account. But according to Daniel's own father, she's not exactly what we think she is. Sure, Daniel and her mother have been insisting that the young content creator is only 16 years old, but her estranged father claims that she's just 14. Even Danielle herself once said she might consider having her boyfriend's baby in 5 to 6 years when she's 19 or 20 years old, so that would make her 14 years old, as opposed to the age she's claiming to be. So be careful about hyping up Danielle's sexy content or her relationship with an 18-year-old content creator because you never know, she might actually be way too young for this kind of content. Number 7. Kristen Hanser Because of her resemblance to a very rich member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, most people seem to think that Kristen Hanser is also as rich as Kylie herself. But then again, not everyone is what they seem to be on social media. Media. Kristen actually comes from a Canadian family that's not that well off and she personally struggled with being an immigrant in America. She was almost deported several times because she couldn't find work, but fortunately she struck gold when it came to TikTok. Number 8. Nessa Barrett Most people know Nessa as a super problematic TikTok star, mostly because she kissed Chase Hudson when he and Charlie D'Amelio were still a thing, and also because she has shown some racist tendencies, especially when she said the N-word not once, but twice. But did you know that maybe Nessa needs more help than criticism? Given that she's actually bad Battling a couple of mental health problems while trying to keep up her life as an influencer. Sure, that's no excuse to act a certain negative way, but kudos to Nessa for still trying to live a normal, functional life despite battling bipolar and depressive issues. Number 9. Malu Trevejo Malu Trevejo is a living testament that it's not just white people who are capable of being racist. Sometimes people think minorities or people of color cannot be vile to the other people of color, but that's simply not the case. Malu might seem harmless as a Cuban musician, but she revealed her racial prejudices to the world when she mentioned that she doesn't breathe when she's around Asians during the global health situation for fear of catching the illness. This goes to show that Asians really have it rough having to take racial slurs from both white people and other minorities. Number 10. Adam Rayoke. You might know this TikTok star better as his internet persona Rosa. We all know it takes a lot of courage and dedication to keep up such a well-developed alter ego, but Adam Rayoke does such an exceptional job that people think his confidence is off the chart. But recently, Adam Ray OK had a collab with James Charles where he talked about himself outside of Rosa Persona. Apparently, Adam is a lot more shy and uncertain about himself as compared to his alternate personality. Who would have guessed, right? Finally, we have Zoe Laverne and Cody Orlov. This ex-couple might just be the best example of why TikTokers are not always what or who we think they are. Can you believe these ex-lovers actually delayed telling people that they were split just so they could keep up their pretense for their fans on social media? Apparently, they continued posting sweet stuff on TikTok long after they'd broken up so they could keep their followers hooked. It seemed such a waste to them to let go of their shippers, so they basically lied to everyone that everything was going well between the two of them. And as we know, that didn't work out very well since they ended things with a very, very bitter breakup anyway. So there you have it. TikTok influencers that are not who they seem to be at all.